Yo, what's going on guys, Shulky here. I'm going to review the Moto G first gen in 2017. When this phone first got out, it was a huge hit. There were two versions available, the 16GB and the 8GB version, which you could get for only $179 off contract. Lots of YouTubers reviewed it as the best budget phone you could buy in 2013. The design is pretty simple and looks good. With the 16GB version, you were able to change the back case with different colors, but personally, my favorite detail was the screen. At a certain angle, you could only see black, which is... At a certain angle, you could only see black, which for me gave it a, a good touch, a premium feel, whatever. Not only that, but the TFT 720p display had some great colors too. The size was a bit small, in my opinion, but at the time, 4.5 inches was enough. The Moto G came with the quad-core 1.2GHz Snapdragon 400 and the Adreno 305 GPU. With the stock 4.4.4 KitKat Android version, the phone runs smoothly and the Adreno 305 GPU is capable of running some heavy titles, for example, that Trigger 2. In the app opening test, the Moto G was almost as fast as my LG G3, with just a second or two of delay, but still, the Moto G came out as a mid-range phone in 2013, with a price tag of $179, and the LG G3 came out as a high-end phone in 2014, at a cost of $600. So yeah, keep that in mind. The Moto G has only 1GB of RAM, but again, at the time, for a mid-range phone, it is acceptable and it's not that bad. When it comes to the camera, I actually have some good news. Many YouTubers said it was a weak point of this device but I was actually impressed by this 5 megapixel shooter. I took several pictures in several different light conditions and you can see that the colors are accurate and in general the pictures look good, but take a look yourself. The 2070 milliamp power battery lasts one day with normal use, so you shouldn't have a problem with that. So guys, this is it, I uh, hope you liked the video, and see you next time.